Huawei unveiled the 2.0 version of its self-developed operating system. The Chinese tech giant has already revealed its plans to grow Harmony OS 2.0 and the ecosystem around it including the support for different device platforms and working with industry partners. What is Harmony OS? Harmony OS is built on a distributed operating system architecture to work across different devices and it's a part of Huawei's all-scenario strategy. This new OS is adaptable to a mobile office, fitness, and health, social communication, media entertainment more. What Harmony OS 2.0 Offers For Consumers Harmony OS integrates various smart devices to implement fast connection, capability collaboration, and resource sharing between different devices. This way, services can be seamlessly transferred to a suitable device that delivers a smooth all-scenario experience. For Application Developers Harmony OS adopts distributed technologies to make application development possible on different device forms. With Harmony OS, you have the choice to focus on upper-layer service logic and develop applications in a much easier and more efficient way. For Device Developers Harmony OS uses a component-based software designed to tailor itself to particular device forms based on their respective resource capabilities and service characteristics. Harmony OS 2.0 for smartphones, tablets, TVs, IoT devices, and more. At HDC 2020, Huawei Consumer Business Group CEO, Richard Yu confirmed that the Harmony OS 2.0 will be available on smartphones as soon as early 2021. Currently, Huawei has released the Harmony OS 2.0 Beta SDK for developers for platforms including smart TVs, cars head units, and smart wearables. Followed by Smartphones SDK to launch in December 2020. Furthermore, Huawei has also shared the information about the device adaptation roadmap of Harmony OS 2.0 including the following. From September 10, 2020, device with 128 kilobytes to 128 megabytes RAM. From April 21, 2021, device with 128 megabytes to 4 gigabytes RAM. From October 2021, device with 4 gigabytes to more than 4 gigabytes RAM. By the end of 2021, Huawei has planned to install Harmony OS 2.0 in over 300 million. These devices are smartphones, tablets, smart wearables, IoT devices, and devices from third-party product manufacturers. After six months of the Harmony OS 2.0 beta testing program, Huawei has finally announced the list of 18 devices including flagship smartphones and tablets, which are eligible to get their hands on the stable Harmony OS 2.0 version. Still, Harmony OS's rollout is limited to the Chinese models and may soon be open for global consumers. These devices receiving stable Harmony OS from June 2nd. Huawei Mate 40 Huawei Mate 40 Pro Huawei Mate 40 Pro Plus Huawei Mate 40 RS Porsche Design Huawei Mate 40e Huawei Mate X2 Huawei P40 Huawei P40 4G Huawei P40 Pro Huawei P40 Pro Plus Huawei Mate 30 Pro 4G Huawei Mate 30 Pro 5G Huawei Mate 30e Pro 5G Huawei Mate 30 RS Porsche Design Huawei Mate 30 4G Huawei Mate 35 5G Huawei Mate Pad Pro Wi-Fi Huawei Mate Pad Pro 5G Now, the Harmony OS beta campaign is opening for the first stage of closed beta testing for general Huawei smartphone users, and 23 devices selected under this software trial. Some of these smartphones and tablet users already testing the Harmony OS under developer beta but now more consumers can participate in this program. These device users can register through the early adapter section in the My Huawei app. However, the rollout will start later on, once the registration is approved by Huawei. These devices can register for Harmony OS closed beta testing. Huawei Nova 6 Nova 6 5G Nova 7 5G Nova 7 Pro 5G Nova 8, Nova 8 Pro, Mate Pad 10.8, Mate 20, Mate 20 Pro, Mate 20 RS, Mate 20X, 4G, Huawei Xs, Huawei Nova 6 SE, Nova 7 SE 5G, Nova 7 SE 5G Vitality Edition, Nova 7 SE 5G Low Hus Edition, Nova 8 SE, Huawei Enjoy 20 Plus 5G, Enjoy Z 5G, Enjoy Pro 5G, Maymong 9. MatePad 10.4 inches. MatePad 5G 10.4 inches. 
That's all from Harmony OS 2.0 update. Stay tuned for further new updates and technology. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.